Hi, it's Nicola at Forever Young Autobiographies and today I'm talking about tips for recording family stories. And stick around to the end as I've got a huge Black Friday deal for you on the Your Family Stories system. Um, if you haven't met me before, I'm Nicola and Forever Young Autobiographies is all about recording life stories for family and friends so that unique memories can live on. Be awesome if you could follow, subscribe and like the show. Now on to the three tips. Now these are specifically if you're interviewing a loved one and recording their life story. Now the loved one could be your, your parents, your grandparents, siblings or other relatives or friends. And you could be compiling a autobiography, you could help them do that. You could do a memoir, a biography or other life story project. Now I get asked a lot of questions about doing this kind of thing as I've done it with my grandmother. She's 99. I helped her write her autobiography. So I'm going to go through my top three tips with you today. And the first one is when is the best time to start a project like this? And the answer would be yesterday or today. Now I know that's annoying but it really is true. You don't want to delay on a project like this. You want to have time on your side because I've lost track of the amount of um, people who've come to me and said, look, my interviewee or my loved one's health deteriorated and I can't even finish it, let alone, you know, some people can't even start it. They've lost that window of opportunity because life and time is finite. We really have to take advantage of it and do these kind of projects now. Now there's a, a misconception out there that your interviewee or your loved one must be old and wise to do this, you know, sort of senior or elderly. But this isn't the case. I've um, featured on this uh, show lots of times reviews of different books of, people who've written outstanding memoirs who are quite young, you know, in their 20s even. Um, I'll leave some links for those so you can check them out. But the moral to the story here or the point is you don't need to wait until you're, you're an older person, so to speak. You've, if you've got a story to tell, then tell it now. Let's share and celebrate it. So that's point number one. Moving on to number two, it's all about overcoming those initial doubts. If you're about to set out upon writing a, a loved one's life story, you might be worried that you won't be able to do a perfect job or you don't have the skills to do it. And I think we need to just sort of reframe our mindset here and say, look, it doesn't need to be perfect. We just need to make a start. And I think for better or for worse, we just need to sit down and start that writing process or, or make, take the first step. We are only really going to fail if we don't start. So keep that in mind. Just pick up the phone, call this loved one and tee up a time for that first interview. I guarantee just taking that first step will be a weight off your shoulders and will just make you smile and your loved one smile about the prospect of getting started on a project like this. So your efforts are going to be enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now the third point I have for you today is all about life story formats or family story formats. When we begin Often a lot of people will freeze and freak out at the prospect of doing this huge life story project. And this doesn't have to be the case. You, I mean, ideally you could write an informative and interesting book, you know, ideally. But there's other, other ways to get started or other ways you can still record family stories. Now, I've talked about uh, feature articles before here and that is an awesome way to get going. Another way is if you've done the interviews, you could simply share the audio or the video with family and friends and sort of skip the writing part. We'll get to that later if you feel confident. Uh, and then another option is to do a scrapbook. Uh, that's quite fun actually, telling a life story through photos and captions. So kind of unlock that fixed mindset of it has to be a big project. There's lots of different options that you can try. 
And I think the key is here is just to take the pressure off, to think of it like a fun game almost, or an experiment. Try and pick one format and just give it a try. If it's not working for you and your loved one, just pick something else. You know, imagine if the next thing you try actually works. How good would that be? So there's my three tips for you today to get started on family stories. And to recap, we had number one, the best time to start, of course, is now. Number two is it doesn't have to be perfect, just make a start. You're only going to fail <laughs> at this whole thing if you don't start. So for better or for worse, make a start, take the first step. And three, you know, don't get locked into one format, just pick one that works for you. If you'd like to know more about this topic, head to my website, foreveryoungautobiographies.com forward slash your family stories tips. And I've got all the information over there, plus some links to other resources that can be really handy. So please check it out. And while you're there and while you're here, please leave me a comment. I'd love to know who are you thinking about interviewing and recording family stories for? Share it because I'd love to hear and I'm sure other people would too. Now earlier I talked about this great deal I have for you. It's my birthday this month and it's the last one for the decade and I've got a few other family members who are having milestone birthdays. So I really wanted to share the, the celebrations with you and give you a bit of a gift. It's a really great deal, especially as it's Black Friday coming up. So I've got the Your Family Story system for 25% off plus a free coaching call with me. So this is, this is an awesome deal. I've never offered anything like this before and I don't, I don't want you to wait another year or even another decade to record family stories. So please go to foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash deal and you can find out more. But the Your Family Story system is the system that I've created that will help you plan, interview, compile and um, publish the life story of your loved one. And I've done this with my grandmother and um, we produced a book. So as a journalist too, over the years, I've compiled lots of interview tips and I've put them all in this system. So I really want you to save money, but also to have the resources and expertise to do this. So please take advantage of this deal, foreveryoungautobiographies.com forward slash deal. Now I'll be back again really soon with another topic. So please follow, subscribe and like the show so you know when that comes out. And until then, happy writing.